it is story time. I've never actually really went into detail about this. I've referenced it before, and I've had so many inquiries about people wanting to know more about it, and I figured that, you know what? Since it's been 10 years since, the, uh, since this event, might as well talk about it finally um, and give you some juicy deets on how I, Daniel Solzbach, was in an arranged marriage. So let's go back in time to a small little 15-year-old Daniel. I grew up in a Southern Baptist church. A new family came to this church. I was homeschooled. So, you know, I'm a Christian boy, homeschooled. I'm a little bit socially awkward. I don't know how to, you know, socialize with people properly. And this new family comes to church. I become best friends with her brother. And then I find out that, hey, you know, I really like the brother's sister. And at age 15, I started dating another 15 year old. This lasted up until when I was 18 years of age, but during those three years were one of the worst moments in my entire life. Because little did I know, and little did little gullible homeschooled Christian boy Daniel know, is that the family that I got involved with, and I don't say this about many th people, were master manipulators. Everything started off fine and dandy. The biggest problem actually was with the mother of the daughter who I was dating. Only a few months into my relationship at 15 with her daughter, the mother started her master manipulating tactic of attempting to convert me out of my own family and turn on my mother and my father, my brother and my sister, turn everyone who was part of my family against them. The mother influenced me so greatly because I was a gullible, homeschooled, socially awkward little guy by convincing me that my parents were out to do the worst for me. That they were bad parents because they didn't homeschool me properly. That they were bad parents because they didn't grow me up in a stricter religious household, even though they were pretty strict. The mother of this daughter that I dated did nothing but speak negatively of my parents and do everything in her power to make me look at my parents differently, and it succeeded. It became a huge family conflict between this mother attempting to pry me out from my parents' grip and my parents' love and my parents' care so that I could marry their daughter. A year into relationship, the mother convinced me, convinced me through manipulation that I was the chosen one to marry her daughter, that I was a young man of God, that I had strong faith, and that it was deemed necessary that I would be marrying her daughter because I am her daughter's soulmate because I am what a good Christian man should be and I should look like. And the fact that my parents uh, raised me in a household in which I was allowed to watch movies that they were that she was uh, that she didn't allow her family watch was just more ample evidence that she could use against my parents that they were bad parents because. I was allowed to do things that their family wasn't. This mother was a con absolute control freak to the absolute max. It got to the point that even after when uh, our relationship finally ended uh, with her daughter, her mother stalked me on my social media. And I don't know if you guys remember Blog TV. It's now known as You Now, but Blog TV back in the day, uh, the mother made sock accounts to follow me on Blog TV and then would bait me with questions asking me things like, are you dating anybody? Or are, are you interested in any other girls? Might I remind you, this is the mother, not the daughter. The daughter was crazy too, but the mother was the real culprit of how I almost, I literally got ripped from my own parents. They turned me against my own parents to where I thought my parents were the worst people imaginable. And then they tried to indoctrinate me that I was this, this guy who was deemed to marry their insane daughter who had threatened to do harm to herself any time I considered breaking up with her. It was a wild ride. But I learned so much from it. Anyone watching, if you have a, a partner or a wife, a husband, or even like a mother or a father that specifically tries to make cut you off from your family ties when you have a really strong family bond with your mom and dad and you have a good relationship with them and they try to sever that, that is a huge red flag for anyone watching this video. Because as a gullible 15 year old, I didn't know any better. At one point, I thought this mother of the, of the, of the girl that I was dating, I thought she was a, a better than my own mom. I thought that she, she loved me more than my own mom. That she cared for me more than my own mom. And the fact that a mother could try to get me to turn against my own mother and look at them so negatively when my parents just wanted the best for me, 
and wanted me to be safe. They were always against me dating this girl. But you know how the movies go, you know, the type of guy or girl that sneaks out of their bedroom to spend every single moment with them? That was me. In a large part, my identity when I was 15 years old was wrapped up in the girlfriend's opinion of me and the mother and how the mother viewed me. They bolstered me up so much that I was this amazing person that I was deemed to marry their daughter and that I was the only person to marry their daughter. I was indoctrinated by their radical ways of thinking and control. Now when I think back about it, it's absolutely terrifying that I let this mom influence me so greatly to where my identity, my self-esteem was rooted in her family, the mother and the daughter. I considered her mom a, a, another, fa uh, you know, another parent figure to me. That's how much she was able to, 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 to twist my mind and manipulate a, a gullible Christian kid who didn't know any better, who'd never dealt with that level of control or manipulation, and I fell right into it. And it's, it is one of the most traumatizing experiences of my life was being associated with that family, that mother who tried to strip everything away from me just so I could marry their daughter. How screwed up is that? To, for somebody to try to tear away your beloved loved ones. And even now, I still apologize to my parents. Like, I'm, if I had listened to my parents, but I was so naive, I was so young, and I thought my parents were out to get me when all they wanted to do was protect me because they saw this mother for what she was. A condescending control freak, a master manipulator who tries to strip other people of happiness and control them. And in a large part, I even feel sorry for the daughter. The daughter was a lot like her mother, but it wasn't as extreme. That household that the mother resided in, you know, her two, her three sons, I feel so bad for them. I, I, it, it crosses my mind every once in a while. I hope they're alive. I hope they're not wanting to do themselves in or hurt themselves because of a mother who's that demented. Arranged marriages are really never good. They're never a good choice, and it's definitely something that I would never want any viewer of mine to ever experience, or having your loved ones cut off from you because of a partner is so controlling that they won't let you have any normal relationship. It's normal to have a relationship with your mom and dad. Like, that's what normal people, they have a relationship with them. It may not be the best relationship, but for a third party to come in and, and try to ruin that. If that happens to you, you need to run the opposite direction. Take it from somebody who's been there. I don't want to see anyone go through the same trauma that I went through and losing my identity, myself, my self-esteem, and having to go to therapy for two years to recover from how much damage was done by that mother to me. So trust me when I say this, when you have a partner or a parent or anyone who tries to get you so wrapped up in your self-esteem and your self-worth that it relies upon them, that your self-esteem, that your self-worth is linked to your partner, okay? That's a red flag, always. Your self-esteem, your value, your confidence. At the end of the day, you may love or care for somebody, but yet it should never be rooted in a person. Because people, no matter who they are, are fickle. People are, they make mistakes. We're not perfect. And for you to put all of your self-esteem, your self-worth, your identity into another person is risking the potential for you to do serious harm to yourself and your psyche. And for a lot of people, some people never recover from when that happens. Because like, you know, if you put your self-esteem and your identity into somebody else, girlfriend or mom, that gives them the potential to destroy you. And the only person who should be able to destroy you is you. You have that power. You should never give that power to somebody else. Ever, 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 ever. Because the moment you do that, you lose yourself. You lose everything about who you are that makes you you. But yeah, I was almost in an arranged marriage. It almost destroyed me, but here I am, stronger than ever. Arr. Um, so, thanks for watching this video. Please follow my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Repsion. Shit! <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, oh, that scared the shit out of me! <laughs> oh my god! I stream every Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Live streaming on Twitch is something that I do quite regularly, and it's a part of my routine. I'm interacting with my fans, my subscribers, my viewers on a more one-on-one -on -one basis is really meaningful to me, and I really enjoy it. Far more than I do with, you know, reading comments of a 
on a video. It's just way more interactive when I can interact with you guys on a live stream. So if you like live streams, if you like video games, check out my Twitch. All my links are linked down below in the description. Have a great rest of your Monday. And don't marry somebody who you don't love.